morning, this is in Shaman Oracle reading for this new week and today is Monday and this reading here is for Gemini. Welcome Gemini. I'm using two cards from the Moon and Stars Tarot and card number one is Five of Swords. And Five of Swords relates to some kind of selfish energy and some loss and the meaning is revenge. The five of swords signify controlling energy over a person or a situation. Someone may be spreading gossip or you may be feeling egotistical. There seems to be no end to your troubles as someone continues to kick you when you are down. You may be feeling defeated, trained or betrayed within domestic situations, some bullying at work or legal disputes or even friendship disagreements. Choose your battles wisely and know your worth. There is a moon message. Remember that karma always prevails and you reap what you sow. Card number two is five of cups and it relates to hope, some defeat and some sadness. And the meaning of the card is grief. Symbolizing grief and loss, this card shows real sadness and disappointment, leading to you feeling disconnected. You may have been denied a work opportunity or a promotion, and within a relationship or friendship, you may have been disappointed or felt rejected. It can also mean the literal loss of a loved one and this card brings to your attention the temporary. These feelings will not last and your situation will get better. So release all these feelings however feels best to you and know that the sun will rise again tomorrow. There is moon message. There is a new chance on the horizon and things are getting better. Next card is Work Your Light Oracle and that card is called Mintakan. And Mintakan is a transmission card. There are different energies assigned to the cards like Confirmation inquiry, action, activation and transmission. And Mintakan is a transmission card relating to longing for home, longing for belonging and the original light workers. Mintakans, there are a soul group who originated on a planet in the constellation Orion. They were the first star beings to travel the earth and believed to be the original light workers. The Mintakans home planet is thought to have been a water world with water so pure that you could see through it for miles. For this reason, the Mintakans feel most at peace and at home when in or around crystal clear water. They are here to teach us to see the potential in everything and the light in all beings. Many Mintakans have an odd longing for home and they struggle with feeling like they do not belong. It is thought that this is due to their home planet no longer being in existence. 
So if the card comes out in your reading, it could mean that you are a mintaken or are longing for a sense of belonging and root chakra healing is necessary for you to feel secure and safe. Perhaps you feel this longing to find home without knowing where that is. Perhaps you have been moving around a lot and yearn for a place on earth to call your own. If so, you are being called to connect with Mother Earth and create that home for yourself now. To choose where you feel most at home and create it rather than waiting for the feeling of belonging to come to you. So say this affirmation. I allow myself to be truly here and at home on this planet. I release any grief around not belonging or feeling held and call in the perfect home. Next card is Beyond Lemuria and the card is called Endless Opportunities. It is wonderful to have the freedom to choose. However, sometimes indecision can be almost suffocating. So get into your body and let your gut feeling guide the way. You have options and opportunities you may not even realize. The universe wants to give you what you want. It is all there. So reach out and wholeheartedly choose it. While you sit on the fence, your experiences are diluted or confusing. We live in a time of choices and sometimes reason and limitation are guiding our choices in a certain direction. And as a result of it, we feel unfulfilled. So choose life from a place of heart, compassion and integrity and you cannot go wrong. And the last card is Angel Guide Oracle and that card is called Harmony and Resolution. Your message is that the angels of harmony and healing are with you to help you resolve any conflicts that have been disturbing your inner peace. You are being encouraged to call in the light of God and surrender any concerns you have so that the divine can resolve them. Your angel guide is suggesting that you release any need to be right or to get your point across, for this will only create more hostility. This is a time to focus on your own inner peace. Dedicate time and energy to doing what you can to make yourself feel comforted and comfortable. Through being more caring toward yourself, you will create harmonious energy that will wash out like a wave to all those around you. Trust that this will happen and harmony will be restored. There is an extended message. Angel guidance is encouraging you to stand down from any conflicts that are going on in your life right now. So take a step back to collect your thoughts and then breathe. Angels cannot help you unless you create space for them to intervene. And they are with you now and willing to restore peace. They want you to know that they are aware of your challenges and the concerns you have. But unless you have faith that harmony can be restored, Nothing can change. This is a time for you to 
to visualize yourself, the situation, and everyone involved, enveloped in a golden light of goodness and praise. It is important to know that angels of peace are encouraging you to let them bring peace to this situation. So trust the process. So that was your reading, Gemini. I wish you a wonderful day today. I wish you a great week ahead. Thank you for listening. Take care and goodbye.